Hi, I'm David Kern. I'm a painter and I'd like to welcome you to this video. The, uh, the other thing I find interesting is what he did after he brought these things back from the woods, right? Because if we take a look at the, uh, if we take a look at, say, Tom Thompson's Jack Pine, the, uh, which I think that was the last painting he actually, last full-size painting that he painted, right? The, uh, the West Wind was on his easel when he died, right? It wasn't completed. The, the Jack Pine was, uh, was, was finished. Uh, the, uh, and I've got here his, uh, his sketch for the Jack Pine, right? So this is, the, this is the Jack Pine done out in the woods. And that's the Jack Pine sort of that we know, know and love, right? And this is, uh, I think this is part of uh, one of the, uh, the, the collection of sketches. And you'll see that, uh, well, first of all, it's not his best sketch, to be quite honest, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it's particularly successful uh, sketch compared with some of the other delightful ones he did. But you can see that he's, he's, he's created the, the sky with these very thick impasto effects to uh, and it's very very gestural with uh, and as is typical quite a lot of the background showing uh, and then the then the final jack pine is much more contrived I say that in a, I don't mean that in a negative sense I mean it's 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 planned and organized and and designed so so there's quite a a change in process between the the sketch and the full size painting where he's he's taking something which he did uh, you know maybe it only took him 40 minutes maybe it took him two hours it certainly didn't take him much longer than that is the big one on canvas david or yeah. is it still on board no it's on canvas this is uh, so this is on okay. oil on board this All is right. oil on canvas yeah. uh, about 48 by 51 inches okay so that's yeah. uh so and and they typically use this almost square mm -hmm. format. It's quite common Unusual. in their 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 days. They they like that sort of slightly off square, and that's uh, and this is typical of that. Uh, but what he's done is he's taken a, a a rough and gestural oil sketch, and he's designed a painting using quite a lot of uh, art nouveau. Uh, techniques which are which was was part of their experience then they were uh, they were painting after uh, after you know after the art nouveau period or the tail end of the art nouveau period so you get these 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 kind of almost stained glass effects in the in the jack pine looks a bit like a tiffany lamp right if you if you see because because he, that that's it's coming from the same the the, the same place and uh, he's done that for one reason would be I would say is because you can't you can't take a gestural sketch and just scale it up and have it work I mean one reason one thing is you'd have to be using a broom right with with buckets of paint and then it would look wrong it would look it would look really sort of oh rough and 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 you can't get back far enough for a, for an image to resolve right so so what he did is he actually designed a uh, uh, a, a painting using 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 uh, uh, some of his 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 graphic design and and uh, and commercial art background to 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 create this this uh, this more art nouveau piece and then fill that in to uh, to create the the image it's got uh, it's got essentially a tiled sky if you look at the way the sky is done right there 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 are lots of tiles again with the background showing through right the background is a kind of bright burnt sienna behind that and then he's put the brush and each 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 uh, each mark has created the sky with a little bit of the brown in behind, but it's a design. It's a design like a, like like if you went to a, a Roman mosaic or something, you'd see the same sort of thing going on, 
right? Because they're 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 using that in order to create the design. I believe they called it the Lauren Harris skull, right? I believe, I believe Lauren Harris was the first one to do do that kind of tiled effect in uh, in the sky and the water by the way the water's got the same sort of effect in it right but uh, it's quite uh, it's quite organized in its uh, in, in, in its con construction and conception rather than the ver that rather than the inspiration for the for the little from the little uh, sketch out in the woods so there's quite a transition between the many sketches that he did and the the one or two paintings that he did on a much larger scale that I find is quite interesting. You know, perhaps in part because I fight with the same thing, right? Sometimes I do lots of sketches and then, you know, what do I do with them? I've got a big painting to do. And there's, 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 uh, there's quite a lot of change that's required, you know, between getting from something, something small and gestural and something that's, uh, that's large and, uh, and, uh, and a more complete work. Uh, and I think this is, you know, it's a Canadian icon, obviously the Jack Pine, and I think, I think good, good, good reason because it it brings together a lot of these things that were happening in those, in those days. So it's a, it's it's an organised piece of art from a from a from an artist that had you know one of the best colour senses that we that uh, that was coming out of the times, uh, and it also comes from his experience out in the woods with doing these these. Uh, uh, these these wonderful little gestural sketches, and uh, they'll. Uh, I don't think there was ever anyone like Tom Thompson before, and I don't think there was anyone ever ever like Tom Thompson afterwards, right? And uh, I think the rest. Of, I think the group of seven, as they become became, right? I think each one of them would you know, sort of refer to him as that kind of emotional heart. So. Probably Canada's greatest painting there, the jackpine.